Welcome to another Olympiad math video. In this video, we're going to be solving for x. And the equation is 3 to the power of x minus 6 times 729, which equals 27 to the power of x squared. So the first step we're going to do here is to rewrite 27 as a 3 to the power of 3. You'll see in a little bit while we're doing that, but it'll be easier to work with it having the same base as other numbers in the equation. But first, please uh, go ahead and subscribe so I can make more videos. Alright, the next step is we're going to divide by 3 to the power of x minus 6 on both sides. That way we can get our 729 by itself. And that'll look like this. Alright, once we have done that, we are going to a apply a few exponent properties. So the first one is 1 over a to the m, which is equal to a to the negative m. And we're going to apply that, apply that to the bottom part of the equation. And then we're also going to apply a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. We're going to apply that to the top of the fraction. So let's go ahead and do that. And that is what we are left with. So now we are going to get a clean slate. So what you just saw there is simplifying out that basically the whole equation. So we brought our 729 down to 3 to the power of 6. Now it has the same base as everything else involved in the function. And we also simplified our 3 to the power of 3x squared times our 3 to the negative x minus 6. Now that we have done that, we have two bases that are the same, which means to solve for their exponents, their exponents are equal. So that means we have 3x squared minus x plus 6 is equal to x. So we can go ahead and subtract the 6 to cancel those out, which will leave us with 3x squared minus x is equal to 0. Now we can factor out an x. And then, to uh, make this equation equal to zero, we just need either the x to be equal to zero, or the function, or the part three x minus one to be equal to zero. So, therefore, x equal to zero can just be zero. Now, the right side of the equation, three x minus one, we'll need to solve for zero as well. So, we'll add one. And then we'll divide our 3, and we'll have x equals 1 third. So that means the solution to this equation is that x can either be 0 or 1 third. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more math videos. Mm -hmm.